Geo Deep Dive is a collaboration between Shannon Peters Geoscience Research Group, Miron Libney's Condor Research Group, and the Hazy Research Group. The goal is to help geoscientists extract data that is buried in the text, tables, and figures of journal articles and websites, sometimes called dark data. To bring dark data to light, we use the Hazy Research Group's machine reading system. The Geo Deep Dive system extends a database created by Professor Peters Group called MacroStrat. MacroStrat contains information about rock formations and individual geographical units. Here is an example, the Barnet Formation. The Barnet Formation contains several units that are spatially distributed as shown on the map. It is also temporally distributed over several geological time intervals. MacroStrat contains over 36,000 rock formation units like these. There is also geologically relevant information in journal articles like this one. As we'll see, Geo Deep Dive extracts information about these rock formations from journal articles. As of today, Geo Deep Dive has processed over 36,000 research papers. This is the Geo Deep Dive homepage. It shows a summary of the results of Geo Deep Dive's deep linguistic and statistical processing. Geo Deep Dive has two main goals. First, organize the literature around the MacroStrat database to create a spatio-temporal index of the geology literature. On the left-hand side, we organize the extraction results spatially on a map. Our second goal is to augment the MacroStrat database by extracting dark data. On the right-hand side, we list some global statistics. For example, we found about 500,000 mentions of formation units from 36,000 documents and about 24,000 measurements of the units. Let's walk through an example of how a geoscientist may use GeoDeepDive. Suppose the geologist is interested in the first unit, the Barnet Formation at Fort Worth Basin. We can navigate to that unit from here. Just as on MacroStrat, GeoDeepDive reports eight units in this formation. Each unit is characterized by a polygon on the map, and their canonical names are listed in this table. We also show the extraction results for each unit, including the number of mentions, documents, and measurements. Suppose the geologist is interested in the first unit, the Barnet Formation at Fort Worth Basin. We can navigate to that unit from here. This is the page for the unit of the Barnet Formation in the Fort Worth Basin. On the left-hand side, we embed a page from the MacroStrat database. In the sidebar on the right-hand side, we show some statistics about GeoDeepDive's extractions for this unit. For example, the estimated total organic carbon, or TOC, is about 6%. This information does not exist in MacroStrat. Instead, it is aggregated by GeoDeepDive from dark data, that is, the data buried in the text and figures of journal articles. The geologist can dive deeper into how this number is produced. Here, we have organized the extracted measurements along different dimensions, including time and space. Suppose our geologist wants to dive into the temporal dimension. By clicking here, she is presented with a list of time intervals for which Geo Deep Dive has found extractions. Here, Pennsylvanian and Asagian. Click on the first button, and Geo Deep Dive will load all the extraction details about the Barnet Formation at Fort Worth Basin and in the Pennsylvanian time interval. Each row in this table is one measurement extraction. We show the annotated textual evidence for each piece. The geologist can go through them and provide feedback on their correctness. For instance, the first extraction appears correct, and so we click Yes. Such feedback helps Geo Deep Dive improve itself over time. We can dive even deeper into the document context of this sentence. This is Geo Deep Dive's document browser. 
A journal paper is anatomized by the different types of entities it mentions, as well as colorful annotations for these mentions. Move the mouse cursor to hover on one of the mentions and you will see a box containing further information about this mention. Here are three kinds of probabilistic predictions about this Barnet Shale mention. Notice that Fort Worth is not mentioned in the surrounding text. Using a rich variety of signals and background knowledge, GeoDeepDive determined that this text referred to the Barnet Formation located at Fort Worth Basin and not, for example, any of the other seven units in this formation. The geologist can provide feedback for these predictions as well. GeoDeepDive is a quickly evolving project and we have been continuously expanding our data sources and enhancing the signals and features. For example, a feature that we recently added is called Table Extraction. These extractions are from tables in the journal papers instead of English sentences. Still, we can dive into the source table. Those highlights indicate the formation name and the measurement value. As you can see, there is a huge amount of information in these tables. In the coming weeks, we will begin to extract even more of this rich measurement information into GeoDeepDive. Thank you for your interest in GeoDeepDive. We would also like to thank our sponsors who have made this project possible. Thank you and stay tuned.